So basically we just need to kind of plug this in here and we're ready to go. So uh, let me just continue on here. Now you want to do each one of these one at a time. If you try to do more than one at a time, you're going to find yourself going through a lot of effort for nothing. Again, hand screw these. Just kind of put them in there yourself. You don't have to tighten them up right now. And then once you have them all in place, then you can go ahead and tighten it up. Again, make sure not to tighten it too much. You will break these little plastic components on the servo. Good thing is, is that this is a metal chassis. And metal, metal chassis are really nice, or sorry, aluminum chassis. So they're really nice to work with, lightweight. And they usually come with everything you need already out of the box. So we're almost done here, mounting these servos. A couple tight, a couple turns to get this a nice And there we go. We've now successfully mounted the two servos with the battery box on top of the uh, on the actual sumo chassis. Very simple. So that's step two. So let's go on to step three. Step three basically says install the rear sumo bot PCB standoffs. This is our PCB over here. So we're going to install the two two standoffs here it looks like okay so two small round ones and according to the picture it's going to go on the rear which is accurate to what I've been saying on the back notice again where all the wires coming out of the back notice here this is where the front is where I'm assuming we'll be mounting the little uh, shovel type thing according to the picture so these standoffs are just going to go right here um, now how are we going to mount these? It looks like we need to use the same type of screws we've been using from before. So basically you just kind of put it through the hole. Let's see here. And you just screw it in. Let's make sure we got the right sizes here. Yep, and this you can just kind of screw in with your hand. Notice how I put it in there. Just one regular screw and boom screws right in. Let me go ahead and screw in the next one. And there we go. They're both installed. I'm going to give them one tight turn just to make sure. Yep, really it's already pretty tight and we're good. That's done with step three. Moving right along on to step four. So step four basically says install the front SumoBot PCB standoffs. So what is the front? So according to the picture here, the front will be the opposite side of the serial port, which will be this back portion. So this is the front. I'm assuming that the front will be mounted like so. According to the picture, we're pretty accurate with that. So what they're asking for here is basically take these two standoffs and we're going to take the long pan head screws and we're going to actually screw through the PCB itself now be careful when you're working with this you know there's, there's circuitry on here there's some you know chips and whatnot um, now I'm familiar with working with boards and I know how to handle them if you're not familiar with handling these things I would suggest getting an anti-static mat and an actual wrist uh, anti-static wrist guard or wrist band which it connects to it and that'll keep you from discharging any static onto the board now I'm making sure you know not to touch anything and always touch the edges of the boards while I do any of this stuff so let's continue with I'm gonna put in these uh, standoffs so basically these just screw in all the way through and they're gonna go completely through the completely through The screw is going to go completely through the standoff itself. And remember, you have to use the long screws. Here is the second one. And we're going to go ahead and screw that one in. As you can see, I haven't really used many tools, which is great. It's another reason why this kit is 
uh, really good, you know, for introductory level or, you know, if you don't want to get too complicated, if you're going to be competing or, you know, you plan to do anything like that. Now just give it a couple tight turns, a couple, couple turns to tighten it up, and you're good to go. There we go. We're done with step four. Now let's move on. Step five actually says let's go ahead and mount it. So we're going to go ahead and mount it onto the Sumo Bot chassis. Now this mounted on right right away. Uh, piece of cake. Very simple. It fed in the uh, the long screws that you that we just did in the previous step actually go in through the robot chassis. So what we're going to do is it says here we're going to need to use a line on a, a nylon washer. We're going to have to put it through here. Okay, and we're going to have to take one of these longer standoffs and screw those in. This is going to be interesting. So that's in there. Let's get the second one here. And we're good to go. Both these are screwed in. Now I'm going to use my pliers here just to kind of give it a nice turn. Doesn't say it's required, but I've done enough of these kits to know that sometimes you need to do certain things to keep things right. And now we don't have anything screwed on the back, so we're going to have to screw those in. Those are just basically two more of these screws that we've been using throughout the entire kit. Again, they just kind of will feed in there. 